or some of the tools that you would um, normally use every day in your, in your small room and um, production, production system. So these are some of the tools that, that we use. And if we start over here, this is actually a drenching gun. And the advantage of this, if you have a number of coats, you, know, you, 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 you need to catch them one by one with a small syringe. It's going to be very time consuming and takes a lot of time. Now if you have this, which you can pull up an amount of thing and then um, you could, this can be calibrated to dispel to, to, to 1cc, 2cc. And you know if you have your, your mature animals and they're supposed to get 2cc, you'll calibrate that 2cc and once you have a goat, you then a shoot or one person to assist. You could just continue to press until this is empty and then you right? So this is actually your, your attention gun that you can use. Right. Um, so this and this work together. And this can be be used um, for the because for cats it can be used for two things. It can be used for well, maybe three things. Castration and tail docking. Um, in terms of castration, a lot of people use this with sheep. We just put it around it and uh, it's cut off the blood vessel or the scrotum. Cut off the blood vessel and eventually it will just fall off. When it, when it, it, because there's no blood reaching there, so it will fall off. We can also use it for um, docking the tail. So once the lamb is born, you just put this around, around the tail. Um, we don't normally use this for this budding, um, but animals that have the horns growing, you also could put this around the horn. Um, it takes a, a much longer time, and um, we can ex it can be exposed to like we in Jamaica have screw so when, when it starts. So we prefer to just burn it early and seal it. But it, it can be used for the for the for the, the tree. So the tail, tail docking, castration and deharning. Okay. Just put it. Uh, now this is a very dangerous piece of equipment. We, when, I, when I first made this thing, it was a feta to my wire. And the, what, a, what a feta to my wire does, um, normally when a uh, animal miscarried and the calf is dead inside it. They get to go in and cut up the calf because sometimes it can't come out of the hole. So you cut the calf into smaller pieces and then you can pull it out. But we also realize that it can be used for um, the horning. Right. Now, why is this different from a handsaw, from a regular handsaw? This one, it cuts and cauterizes at the same time. So if you have the animal held Securely, of course, you don't want the animal to be moving around. If it's held securely, and I know that they're going to demonstrate one of this, and you, these are the handles. These are the handles, you put the, the wire through, and you pull about a 18 inches long piece, and you hold the, the it on a goat's on about uh, a couple of centimeters from the base, and then you pull it smooth. Once you go raggedy, it's going to start bleeding. So you don't want to have that. So this is a feta no more. You don't want to have this around. Right? This, could, this could behead you quick, quick. You know? <laughs> and I don't show it. It is very sharp and true. It cuts and cauterizes. So that is used. And it, it, they are, we only use this for mostly mature animals. No, I was talking about the yard. So this is one method you can use for the yard. This is another method. This is the hot iron method. Um, Normally this is sold commercially, not this but the machine is sold commercially, which can use for the harness. No, the disadvantage is the one, the commercial one. It needs electricity. So it's not practical when you go out to the field. The thing, and even if it's plugged in, then you have to allow it, when, while you're using it, you have to allow it to heat up and start over again. Now what we do, we can make several of this. And um, what this, this part of it, you notice there's a hole in it. This was deliberately cut through. <laughs> this is actually a gudgeon pin that comes out of the piston of a motor vehicle. And why we choose it? Because the gudgeon pin is made to withstand very, very high temperature. temperature. Right, so this becomes red hot when you, when you put it in the fire. Why we put a hole in here? When you put it on the animal's head, you need it to breathe. So a lot of the smoke and the heat will pass through here. So the heat is not transferred directly to the thing. Some people think it's very, it's inhumane, you know. It but um, the, the, the good thing is, once you use this and burn, and it's burned properly, that horn will never regrow. Yeah. You know, if it's not done properly, then you'll have a 
deform man. Good. Um, there's another one that I don't see. There's a paste, a, a caustic paste that I use. And I, but the, again, the caustic paste must be used when the animal is like a day old, day two, two old. Once it gets above that, you start to have problems. And there's other disadvantages that you have to use a tape to paste over because normally when young kids, the first thing that will happen when they get stressed, they'll run to their mother and start mm -hmm. to suck. And then the, the, the caustic will touch the breast and then you'll have problems and you'll develop mastitis. And it also can run down into their, their eyes. And so we, we actually don't use the caustic potash on, on, the, on, the, on the heart, but it's just another method that you could use. We concentrate on using the, the wire saw or, 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 or this method. Right. There's also in but in, in cattle too. Guillotine. Yeah, they have a guillotine where you just press it over it and it, and, and it cut the top or a goat, whatever they call it. That, that, that takes the. But for, for smaller ruminants, we find the, these methods to be very effective in, in, in using. In use. Alright, so the next thing we go is, is um, manicuring, hoof treatment. There's another thing in there that you can take off. Uh, this is a hoof knife. Right, and what it does, especially when the animals are, are reared in a um, in situation where in pens and wetlands, the hoof tend to turn over, and the, the soil or germs get under there, and it will cause foot rot. It's a very dangerous thing in, in your once your uh, foot rot. It can be very painful and it can be very devastating to your. That's how we. Uh, right. So normally we'd um, use the hoof knife, clean out the hoof. And I'm sure that if we have time, we'll see that demonstrated. And they'll clean. And this can be used to cut the hoof as well. But the most important thing is clean. Um, now, if it is not as bad, or after we clean it, if it's very bad, then we'll go and use a hoof trimmer. And I like this type of hoof trimmer, not necessarily this one. I like this type because it can do both big animals and it can do smaller animals right so this this is very effective but if you know to use it um so once you, you you do this and you cut to the level and he'll actually explain to you how, how you, you if you're using this one you don't cut towards you right because you can use a regular normally if you don't have this you can use a regular body knife or a pen knife once it's very very sharp to, 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 to cut and the, um but the, the, the advice is you never cut towards it, you cut away from it, so as not to prevent damage. Now some of the holes are very, very bad in terms of overgrown. And then, so once you, you cut it, this is a hoof plane that you use to smooth it out. Uh, and so, so this set, is, is for hoof, hoof trimming, combination of, combination of hoof, hoof trimming. Um, that is an ear tag applicator, simple. As uh, Brown just told you about the identification and for record keeping, it's very important that you you use that. And so this is, is for ear tagging. This is another. This is a tattoo tattoo kit. I don't say. Um, yeah, but things are here. Okay, yeah, right, right. So this is this is the kit. I no, I think. Right. Now the, the ink, all of them are very important. The, the tattoo numbers are the digits. They can come, they have letters, they're alphanumeric. So you can have numbers or letters. You can identify your personal farm. Charge, one, two, three. Right, so you, you can identify your personal farm and give it your own initial. Like it's something they do in the United States. Each farm or each ranch will have a unique identification number for each farm. And then what we do here, we use a system of a parish instead of an individual person. So we have a farm number, the farm number might be farm number one, and then the parish of Kingston and St. Andrew, that is one, so you have one, one, and then the year of the, that the animal is born. And then um, on the other ears, you'll put in the individual identification number. So it's your choice, you can put it in one ear, or you can do it in two ears. But this, this method, it's better to do it when the animals are young, and as the animal grow, the number will grow with the animal. And um, the ink is very important too. They have different color ink, so you wouldn't use a black ink and a black goat ears. You use a green ink. 
So this this is eight. It's a where is eight? It's and the, the, the green thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. this is this uh, example of the ink. So you rub it in, and there's some that you, you could use. Um, okay, this is another. Hmm? Yeah, this is a tattoo ink that um that you, you just um. Roll so the roll on. Yeah, so you, you just put it in the ear and you roll it on. Now normally what, what I normally do for it to be more effective, I'll get the tattoo digits and I'll place it in the applicator. the applicator. And I'll have a piece of sponge where I use it to push the pins through that sponge. So actually it goes into as you punch in the, the thing, it goes into the, the ears. Okay. And right, so the one on the outside will enhance what is in, and you will get a better, better reading of, 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 of the uh, Right. We use a cardboard to, 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 to put on the back of it and push it in, and it, it helps. It, it works, and it, it's bright. And you'll see that result in a couple of days. You, you, you'll see that as the animals grow, the tattoo marks will become bright. Right. And she must have told her about the advantage where you can cut out her ear top, but even cut out the ears. You know, the tattoo, any way you put it, the tattoo number will, will still be. So you have to go through a lot of effort to, to do that. So these are some of the, and of course, that's the, the, um, the tags. Now you, can, you have different type of tags. If you want, you can get your tags personalized, or you can get blank tags. You can get blank tags that, um, no. No. You can get blank tags that you can put your own initial and, and write down the numbers. And especially if you have a very large herd, you know, the tags, the tags that, the commercial tags come in a series, 1 to 25. You know, so either you're going to have to color code, but if you have blank tags, then you can write down your number 1 to 1,000, whatever you want to, want to write down. So these are some of the simple tools and equipment that used in things. I think this is one of the... It's a thermal thing. And um, we, we, sp we spoke earlier about um, animals being being looked at for signs. So there are certain signs that the animal will exhibit. And you can tell the health status of the animal by using the thermal to do rectal temperature. Right? And that will tell you what status the animal is in, if you have a large herd um, and what you need to do to, to, to control that. Right. And, and no, what, what, what would be the normal temperature? Uh, 104, there we go. Okay, um, this is a, a bird is a clamp. That's used for castration. Closed castration. There are other methods that we can use. There's open castration and there's closed castration. Open castration, you can use a razor blade or a sharp knife. But they are exposed to other things there, to, to um, the bleeding and the flies. If you are in a country like Jamaica where you have screw and fly, I know most of you have eradicated that pest. Uh, but this is a, a bird is a clamp. And uh, we can also use this bird, it's very important piece of tool to keep if you have um, a small room. Because in terms of docking, if you don't have this, you can use this to clamp down on the tail. And leave it for a little while and then you cut off out here and um, you, you, you spray it and, and after right and it will finally it will finally fall off and stuff but this is used mainly for castration now importantly and i think um, mr barnes when when if you get a chance to it, a lot of people don't understand and when you catch a kid they just put the birdies up across and clap don't do that that will actually hurt the animal. So what you do, you clamp one side first, find the spermatic card, and fit the it and crush one, right? And after you crush, you count the animal, you count to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you go to the other side, and you clamp, and do the same thing. That way, after about a month, the, the thing will wrap up, and you, you'll be good. There'll be no external um, cuts or, 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 or fracture, and then it will save it from all the other you'll need it by the spray or you the animal and antibiotic. Give the permission a little bit or with your bit. You know, right, so these are some of the equipment. I know that there are other, other equipment that, that, that we could look at. But, but these are some, some of the basic 
I'm not going to tell you anything about syringe because you don't want me to get into the joke. You know, so, no, no farmer is supposed to be administering drugs. Yeah. That is for the veterinarians. So I'm not going to. You, you, you should have syringe around, maybe to use as drench. But anything that is surgical, you're not supposed to.